here. So today what we're gonna talk about is cranking up that YouTube channel. But even if you don't have one, I'm gonna teach you how to apply the same principles to anything in life so you can master anything, whether it's your dating life, whether it's your financial freedom, or as well as internet marketing. But before we get into that, first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, get on it. Hit the little button below because I'm putting out videos every single week, starting last week, moving forward next week, and just on and on. They come out every Wednesday morning. So if you saw my video last week, I talked about how the end of the year is not about working harder. It's about taking a step back and refining your goals. And so one of mine is this YouTube channel of really cranking things up and putting a lot of free content out there. I always be putting stuff out. And so what I do every time I want to hit a new level in any area of my life is it's the old Jim Rohn principle. Surround yourself with the five closest people. You're the average of your five closest friends. So I reached out to a couple of my friends. One has two YouTube channels with over 150,000 subscribers. Another one has 500,000 YouTube subscribers. And then I talked to another close buddy who's building his up, who has a seven-figure digital marketing agency, who does a lot of AdWords and you know uh, micro-influencer stuff. And so through that process, picking their brains, the biggest thing I realized is a success principle that ties to anything. And so the first time I really had this sort of realization, I was actually in college. And what it was, I remember I was streaking some bacteria plates because I was going to school for microbiology. And my two lab partners, these cool guys, man, they were just jacked. And I remember thinking I was just so naive to think that, oh man, I just don't have the genetics to be as jacked as these dudes are. And so, you know, at one point I think, you know, I was, oh, I'm going to go to the gym and maybe work on kind of growing the muscles and stuff like that. And lo and behold, every time I went, those dudes were there. And I realized it wasn't their genetics. It was the fact that they went to the gym all the damn time, three to four times a week. And that's what led to them being that way. And it seems so obvious and so simplistic that the more you do something, that's the only way you're going to reach a high level. You have to have that immersion. But when I reached out to these YouTubers again, I had that same realization of going, oh yeah, that's right. For you to do anything at a high level, you have to fully be immersed in it and hit it really hard. So I was talking with one friend and he does public speaking. He's you know doing coaching on the weekends, running seminars all the time, got digital product sales, the whole gambit there. But his YouTube channel is just killing it. And so I go, hey man, what are you doing? How are you making this happen? And if you had a 40 hour work week, the more we talked, I'm like, man, this seems like a lot of work. How much time in a 40 hour work week, if you're spending probably more than that, but if it was 40 hours, what percentage is towards your YouTube? And he said, about 85%. So that means 35 out of 40 hours there, I think that's the right math, he's focusing on, okay, let me search through other people's channels. Let me just watch other people's videos. Let me see what they're doing. How can I model that for myself? What is my next video gonna be about? How can I tweak the editing a little bit more? How can I add some more B-roll? How can I refine the shot? How can I refine the angle? And on and on and on. How can my delivery get better and better and better? And the fact that he's thinking about it that much, it's obvious that the byproduct would be a fucking really killer video. And so for me, if I look at myself over the last couple of years, the free content was an afterthought because I was too busy building the business, the infrastructure, doing the one-on-one -on -one coaching and really growing that, doing sales calls. But, and I was thinking, okay, yeah, how do I get this video thing to pop off? And the thing is, you gotta put some emphasis on it. And it's the same thing, you know, back when I was a dating coach, guys were like, oh, they'd see the videos and they see, you know, we do infield where it's you talking to some girls and things like that. And they're like, man, you're so good. Or I have a boot camp, and they're like, how did you get to that good? And what it was is I was going out five to six nights a week for five years straight. So that's 300 nights it out, you multiply that, that's like 1,500 nights out. And that's what led to me being able to turn it on, go out, be able to approach, you know, coming from a background of being more introverted to really cranking that up and having the skill set to really be extroverted and be social and be able to turn on the happy party vibe. That's not something that just some people have and other people don't. Maybe there are a couple people, but if you don't have that, anything truly is possible, but it's going to take some time. And so specifically with YouTube, like I said, the biggest takeaway over anything was that immersion and being patient, knowing that it's going to take some time. And for me, what I did as part of this process, setting really good goals. So for me, by the end of 2018, you can hold me accountable. My goal is 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to commit $100,000 and I want to do 50 joint ventures with other YouTubers for the year of 2018 to hit that goal for myself. Because again, it goes back to that 10X principle where you think, oh man, he's just creating some good videos and maybe you know I can share them on Facebook and that's gonna lead to me having the same success. No, that's not the case. You gotta 10X that, you gotta 100X that. That's what it's gonna take for you to get there and it's the same thing in anything. The path to mastery, what it comes down to is that 10,000 hours. 
You gotta put your time in no matter what it is. Realizing everything is a skill set. Don't identify with the fact that you don't have success yet. No one's cut from a different cloth. It just comes down to immersion, putting the time in and being patient and grinding and hustling and going for it, but doing it in a balanced way. So you gotta have times where yes, you immerse yourself here, the rest of life is important. This is for another video. But what I would say for this one specifically, if there's something you want to achieve, go out and find those people. The best lifestyle hack, again, is finding people that are further along so you get that nuanced little feedback, the custom tailored feedback to get you there faster. And then secondly, go, how can I 10 times, 100 times the effort that I put into this, knowing that I gotta get the feedback, knowing that I just gotta put the damn time in, and that's what's gonna get me there. I'm not different than anyone else. It's just they put the time in. And so, it's time for you to join me on the path to mastery. What are you committed to? What are you gonna immerse yourself in? I want you to get to the point where you're literally waking up at night going, oh shit, you're having these ideas, you're dreaming about it, you're waking up. I remember back in the day when I was doing the dating stuff nonstop, I'd have dreams about me going up, talking to girls and going through the flow and she's smiling and stuff. I'd wake up and it's like, man, that muscle memory, it's great for your subconscious. And just the ideas that you get from that. You should be taking showers, you're getting ideas. You should be eating your lunch and you're thinking, oh man, how do I change that shot or how do I do this differently or what do I do in my business? How do I tweak my copywriting? Whatever area it is for you, get fully immersed into it and then follow me along with the journey. If you are at running a business and you're trying to model this in your own company, realize that I'm not doing the YouTube stuff specifically for sales. This is a long-term process. So to get in my head a little bit here, this is really about brand building. So keep that in mind if you're modeling this. But man, we got some crazy stuff in store. We're getting ready to update all the camera rigs, all the lighting. You know, we got people set up to do the graphics and stuff like that. Uh, even, you know, vacations planned specifically to make this channel way entertaining, you know, at infotainment where it's a lot of education, a lot of great content, but also inf information, you know, the whole thing is gonna be fucking awesome. And so come along for the journey. The only way you can do that is to make sure to subscribe wherever the hell that button is. And as always, Enjoy.